Jordan, thank you as always for being with us and taking the time. But, but we haven't had an update on Saeed's condition uh, recently, so please give us a rundown. How's he doing physically? Thanks, Tim. You know, this is day one, 501, 501 days that Saeed has been in prison only because he's a Christian. And what's interesting on top of that is that yesterday, President Obama actually mentioned Saeed for the first time on day 500. But his health has been deteriorating throughout this process. He has started to receive more medical attention, but not actual treatment. So he's still suffering from the uh, internal bleeding. He does get pain medication, but he's still in a situation, I know this is not a, a nice thought, where he's spitting up blood fairly regularly. So that's over a more than a year long process of, uh, you know, I mean, we're not that far away from when he's, he's uh, literally almost been gone two years. Oh, my goodness. How is his wife holding up and children? You know, it, it continues to be tough. But days like yesterday, when President Obama finally spoke out, does, does help. You know, it, it's, uh, the kids are getting older, seven and five, and so they're starting to realize more and more that their dad is in a tough situation. And, you know, at that age, you can imagine it's, you have to keep the memory alive. And I think, mm -hmm. thankfully, all the media attention and the coverage is, it, it, you know, Nagme is able to point to uh, who their dad is. And, uh, and what's going on to, a, to an extent and what's appropriate for that age group. But, you know, she's basically become this uh, a simple mother out with a, uh, a job to do. And so she's speaking around the country and doing interviews as well. And, and so it's been a, a whole transfer for the family. But there are always, you look for kind of glimmers of hope and things to be positive about. That's what she's able to do. Her faith has uh, kept her strong. Jordan, what does this mean? Does this have any weight or any meaning? meaning with President Obama mentioning uh, Saeed yesterday? Well, he did a few things. This is the first time President Obama has said Saeed Abedini's name. And though the White House did report that the president spoke about this to the president of Iran in the fall, he has never publicly said anything involving the name Saeed Abedini. And he didn't just say at the prayer breakfast yesterday, uh, you know, pray for Saeed, but he did do that. He called him pastor. Saeed Abedini he said he was in prison because of his Christian faith. He said he was in prison for 18 months. He was very specific. And he said he called Iran to release him so that Saeed returned home to his wife and children in Idaho. So the president became uh, a very personal plea to Iran. And now you know, he is responsible, clearly, knows the situation, is working on it. And this comes at a time when Iran started talking about the idea of policy the Iranian forces just two weeks ago. Jordan, thank you so much. And, and just very quickly, what can people do to, to help? You know, we have a dedicated website for the persecuted. It's called BeHerdProject.com. And Saeed Abedini, of course, is still the focus of that website as an American, American citizen uh, persecuted and imprisoned in Iran because of his Christian faith. So you can get all the information there on Saeed. And of course, we want people to share uh, the president's remarks because that crosses the partisanship. It's not about politics. We are very grateful to President Obama that he chose that opportunity yesterday uh, to mention Saeed. He's the leader of the free world. He's the commander in chief. And when he speaks and the president speaks, it, uh, it doesn't matter really what the State Department has done. Uh, it, it shifts the game again. Jordan, thank you so much for your report and the great work that the American Center for Law and Justice is doing. Thank you as always. And uh, we'll be praying for Pastor Saeed, for Nagme, for the children, and for you and all the work that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Tim.